Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show. This is LL. This is one of the plays today in the Stock Swoosh Show live trading room. I saw it last night as a good gap, and it is a short, and, uh, and it was a short this morning, and I looked at it last night. I didn't rate it last night, but you can rate gaps you find at night, or you can wait until the morning. I typically look at them at night, and then I rate them in the morning, but LL is a short. Now, it's getting the pushback here. The market is screaming bullishly today. Um, and typically what happens is these gaps play out usually in the morning. They set up in the morning, they play out in the morning. Sometimes they continue into the afternoon for bigger targets, and sometimes they're just done. They're done with the morning move. So this is LL, and the good thing that I think is interesting about my system is that you can see in advance what you want to watch, what you want to see, what you want to play. So you first find the gap, then you rank the gap according to the 26-point rating system. Then you watch the gap into the open at 9.30 Eastern time, and you look to actually train the gap into the open and take the setup. And you have to have the targets and everything else figured out, and you follow it through till its natural inclination, until it gives a reversal sign or gets to one of the targets. And all of that I teach in the class. Uh, this here, though, has a much bigger extension on it for the longer term. And I did talk about this in the video last night. It's not going to get to this number today, but this is the next number for this to continue for a longer term trade. There's not going to be really much pushback in this, I don't think. This is pretty a pretty devastating gap for this stock here. This, this is actually real. Uh, and some people are making an attempt to buy this today, which again, which is crazy, which is a crazy thing to do. The stock's a short. This is not a buy in any stretch of the imagination. The stock actually traded down $8 yesterday. Open high the day yesterday was 77.27, cl closed at 70.42, low was 69.65. When the stock closed yesterday at 70.42 and opened this morning at 55.19, the stock has sold off $15. $15 overnight. The stock is a short and had a short in the day, and that's the way to play it, short. This idea of gap fills does not work. It's not the right way to play things. And many people get in trouble with that. They look at something and they, they say, well, it's a big gap down. I had a red bar yesterday. I'm going to buy it. This is the wrong thing to do. The only reason this is having to push back now here with some green in it is because of the market right now. And uh, let's look at the short for the morning. So this actually set up beautifully. Big pushback here, but then had the confirmation of the correct uh, positioning. Here's the rally into the open. Triggered. Did the confirmation. You got a second confirmation. And you also could have done this in the five-minute chart. So the stock had a nice move in it here. And again, for this thing to go full on today, the stock really needed to break 54. Low of the day here is around 54.32. So once this stock breaks $54, whenever it is, which I have no idea when that's going to be, it should really get a big sell-off. Could that have happened today? Yes. Is it going to happen today? Most likely not now because this is getting a pushback here and it's starting to get late in the day. And usually when stocks are going to make uh, those breaks. They do them before lunch. Like this could have done it. Here, let's go back and look at the five. This looks good all in here. This looks good. The stock's coming down. It's starting to break. The stock's come down and down. It does a retest. Stock sets up again here in the five. It's starting to go. It's starting to go. Then this happens here. So the stock looked great to possibly break down again until this point here. And you actually could have lowered your stop here really, really tight basically over this area, because once the five starts to make a scoop, it's not really good, which it did in here, then you can see it. This is the lift it's getting. So this is probably not going to break 54 now today, and I'm all out of this here, but it was a nice move in the morning, and it had possibility to break down, and here it looked good. This looked great. This looked great. This looked great. This looked great. This even looked good in here, looked good in here, looked good in here, looked good. And then you know it's not going to fall through. And that's what happened here, at least for the day. But you can't buy this. And so many people do so many different things where they say short it, then they buy it, then they flip it, then they go long it, then they short it again. The stock's a short. And actually, despite the fact that market's rallying here today, I think the stock actually closes on the day red or with a doji. I know it has a, re a green body in the daily here, but this isn't going to go anywhere really with that. This stock is weak as all get out. Actually, the market's been rallying for most of the morning, and the stock has had a nice bearish move down. So I'm not exactly sure the price to be closed today, but this is a, was a bearish gap, and I saw it last night. And I put the video out on YouTube if you wanted to watch just a short. It had the good setup. I thought it was, it was last night around 56 something. I thought it would open today around 55 something. That's what happened. And if it had crashed through the floor of everything right out of the gate today, it def definitely would have broken 54. 
It didn't do that at high rally first, but it's fine. And a nice move here in the OL today if you shorted this. And, you know, it's getting late to do any kind of retake in here, but it probably sets up again in here somewhere in the 15 minute this afternoon. It's just the market screaming bullishly here today, and I don't know if this breaks so low. It's getting really almost too late. But nice move in this here. Longer term target is still in play at 49. And a nice short here in LL. Okay? So the the point I'm trying to make is, is to you find the pick, you rate the pick, then you watch for the setup, then you take it, then you book the money, and then you go on with your day, whatever you have to get done. Sometimes these things fall through in the afternoon and sometimes they're just completely done in the morning. You never really know. I think it depends how quickly they set up and break. And that's why I'm always watching these. I'm always watching these in the morning to see how they act. Uh, but this is a nice short here in LL. I remember gap fills don't make any sense, don't work. It's not the right way to trade anything. It isn't, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing whatsoever. And if you really want to learn how to trade gaps, then email me. You have to take the gap class. I'm doing the gap class this weekend, July 12th and 13th. If you want to take the class, email me. I still have some spots available. Deadline is tomorrow, though, at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Email me at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information and want to sign up. Good luck, everybody, for the rest of the day today, and uh, email me if you'd like more information. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.